Hey, welcome back to Elka Mountain, where we're building our new farm here. This is episode number 11, and this is a, an exciting episode because we are going to be harvesting our sorghum field. Uh, this is going to be our first harvest. We're here with the International 1480 Harvester, and we have our tractor over there ready to go with our trailer. We're going to get right into it. We're going to hop in, and we are going to... Um, get this sorghum field planted now what's important is is that we are becoming self-sufficient with our farm meaning that this sorghum won't be sold at market this will actually be stored and be used for our chickens because we're going to expand our chickens even more we have uh speaking of chickens we do have some chicken eggs that we have to take to market today so we'll do that as well but this is exciting this is our first harvest on our new farm and we're gonna get right into it this is exciting This is our first step into being self-sufficient where we don't have to buy chicken feed. We can just use our sorghum and our wheat. We have our wheat field to our left and this will help us become self-sufficient to where we don't have to worry about buying stuff at market. We don't have to worry about anything like that. So it's a very exciting time. Is that cutting it? Yeah, it looks like it. It just didn't look like it was... Anyway. I'm not going to time lapse this because this is exciting time for us. Uh, in the future harvest, I will be time lapsing. But this one, I don't think we want to time lapse this. We want to capture the moment of our first sorghum crop. Well, now what's nice about sorghum is that it grows very quickly from seed to harvest. Doesn't take long at all in game. I believe it's just uh, four four game cycles, four four sleep cycles. We didn't grab that, so we'll back up here. It, it won't take it. Okay. And like I was saying, sorghum grows really fast. It's a new crop for uh, FS22. And I'm not sure how many, how long, uh, if we'll have to re, have to stop and empty out our harvester. I'm not sure. That's why I have our tractor on standby. So we can have a quick turnaround. This is exciting. This sorghum field is coming along nicely. 
Um, we have a huge sorghum field over there. That's going to be a big harvest. And that's going to take a lot of time. And we'll time lapse that, obviously. But for this one, we're in the moment. I want to just capture every part of it. Because this is, like I said, our, our first step in being self-sufficient here in Elk Mountain. This is our first uh, harvest of any kind. We also want to think about hay um, for our cows. So we do have some hay fields that we need to... Uh, those also need to be mowed and put into hay bales. That way we don't have to buy hay bales. I don't think this this uh, harvester is equipped with um, a thing to create straw. It doesn't look like it or I didn't buy the attachment. I'll have to look at that because when we go with our wheat, we want to, we more than likely, I would want to create straw as well. That way we can store our straw. So again, we don't have to buy anything like that at market. We don't have to buy the hay or the straw. Uh, we want to grow everything right here. So, and I, I wish we would have been able to do it with the sorghum. You might be able to if the harvester was equipped with it. I don't obviously don't think that it is. So we may have to look at getting another harvester just so we can produce straw. Going back a few episodes of this, these two fields are actually ones that we created our own. These were not in the game at all. This is uh, ones that we actually did our own so this is nice knowing that we we did this from start to finish when we plant for the next crop we are going to lime it we're going to roll it we're going to do everything correctly that way we yield the maximum this we did not roll and we did not put lime down so that's one thing that we'll have to do uh, in the future that way it maximizes our yield I really love these international harvester or the international uh, line. These are all mods. So if you're you know interested in what mods that I have, this international harvester is a mod. That tractor uh, ahead of me is also a mod. This map is a mod as well. Uh, this is the Elk Mountain mod and this is Elk Mountain, Wyoming. So this is on FS22 for PC only. I am playing on PC. I get a lot of those questions asked on TikTok. You know, this, is this PC? Is this console? This I'm playing on PC. And of course, it is available on a console. I just play this on PC. That way I get all of the mods. Because I like to enhance my gameplay. I like to add different things in game that it was not built into the game as a default. So that's why I use mods. This harvester does a good job. There, we'll, we'll turn our beacons on. So we're almost 85% full. We might be able to complete this entire harvest without having to empty the harvester out. When we go to plant 
this field for our next crop we will be plowing and then we'll be putting the seed in i know my cedar does you don't have to plow but with the sorghum that's here we'll have to get rid of it completely i think that'll be the best so now we're almost done and we're at 94 percent full we might be able to complete this field without having to empty it. We'll see. Let's take a look inside. That is a great view. So we're going to have to empty it, it looks like. Which is fine. That's why we have our tractor there ready to go all right so now all right we'll go back and grab our tractor So there we got our international tractor here. This is the international, um, or the case international 1455 XL. And then we have our trailer here that we're going to load in the sorghum. There we go. Look at that sorghum. This is exciting because, like I said, we will be able to feed our chickens the sorghum. We'll be able to store it. This is exciting to know that we are going to be self-sufficient and not have to buy our chicken feed. I don't know if this will take it all or not. So yeah, that's that took care of it. All right, now we'll hop, hop back into our harvester. Maybe, maybe we'll go into the harvester. There we go. And then we'll finish our sorghum crop. done this is exactly what we need for our farm and our chickens that way we can put a lot we can have a lot more chickens we want to have we want to have as many chickens as we possibly can guys i'm i'm talking million of chickens i don't know we're going for the max that we can possibly have and it might be endless we might have 10 million chickens who knows be i am going all in for chickens because they're easy to take care of 
and we don't have to clean their pen but yeah we can reap the benefits of the eggs which are they made eight grand eight thousand dollars just off of chicken pallet their chickens or eggs and they weren't even it wasn't even a lot so that tells me that eggs in this game are very very valuable and we need to go all in with with chickens Almost got 100% here. Almost done. This is it. This is a, so exciting. So our sorghum field is complete. And then we'll empty out the remaining contents of our harvester into our trailer here. And now we have to go empty our trailer. Yep, we are 100%. We'll cover that up and then we will go fill up our silo. Almost back. I don't know if we can see if our chickens need uh, need fed. I don't know if they do or not. But since we have the sorghum right here, um, what's this doing? Oh, okay. Whew. I was just concerned for a minute. So that harvest, that took a lot for them. So they have almost, they have 13,000 liters of food. We need to go put their, uh, the other in our our other chicken pen so it's going to take a lot of sorghum we don't even have any to put in the silo which is concerning look at the, all those chicken eggs look at all of that money guys look at all that money and then we'll add the rest here Very good. Now we'll go back and grab our rest of our sorghum from our harvester. And uh, we'll be good on that. 
We want to fill up that silo over there, guys. That silo is what we want to fill with our sorghum. And we need a lot more fields. Because that was 8,000 liters of sorghum that went right to our chickens. Now... Granted, the chickens will be fed for quite a while. We don't have to worry about feeding them for, for a long time, so which is fine. I'm not worried about that. I just need, we need backup. We need more sorghum in order to feed our chickens. Now, we can feed them wheat. We can feed them barley. We can also feed them sorghum. Sorghum is the quickest crop that we have at our arsenal that will give us the high turnaround because wheat and barley takes time. So this wheat, this sorghum field, I planted the same time as our barley field or our wheat field right here. And it's not ready yet. All right, so there is our sorghum. Our sorghum harvest is complete. We'll take this back. Well, we might as well store this harvester here in this barn. It's no sense of driving it back when we're just going to use it here soon for our wheat. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll load up our header on this trailer here. Make sure it's lined up and it looks okay. Maybe if we get lined up, that might work best. Maybe. We're stuck. Not stuck anymore. Okay. Very good. Let's go look at this field. I want to see how close this is to being ready. So we're growing. Let's check it out. Let's see how soon we are to harvesting our wheat. Now we also have a field. Number five here is ready. Um, so that will be four and five or four. And this one here are going to be ready very soon. I believe this one here is barley. This is not one that we planted. This is barley, I believe. Yep. That looks like it's barley. So we can actually feed that to our chickens too. And we'll, we'll harvest that as well. This is our harvesting episode i guess which is no big deal i won't put you through the the i will time lapse that field because it is huge um but yeah we're gonna we'll probably go ahead and do that next field i don't know if we're gonna do it in this episode or not i haven't decided yet we might save that for another episode But I'm excited. Our first ever sorghum crop is in the books. We didn't make any money. But we're going to make money by selling our chicken eggs. So we are, in essence, selling our sorghum. It's just in, we're feeding our chickens, which then makes the eggs, which then we sell it to market. You know the idea.
I do want to sell these chicken eggs. Um, we'll do that here. I want to take these, the sorghum here, and we'll put it in the other pen. Maybe if we don't run over our chickens first. And then we'll feed her feed our chickens. All right, that didn't take much to fill that. Well, I don't think it's full, but it's just all we had. So that one's got 7,000 liters of food. So we're going to have to feed these guys before we feed the other ones. All right. Now this is our hay field here that we want to, um, we need to turn into hay bales because then we can, um, our, it's for our cows, so. Our flatbed trailer here is kind of tied up at the moment. We'll just drop this off right here. We'll have to unload what's on here because we're going to sell our chicken. We're going to take our chicken eggs. See how much we get for them. So we're going to unload this trailer right beside our barn for now. These will be stored inside the barn here. Um, but right now we're not going to worry about that. Let's load up our chicken eggs. Okay. And then we will grab our next batch of chicken eggs here. So what's interesting is, is that this front part, this pen here is actually producing more chicken eggs than the lot, the other pen. Which doesn't make any sense because they're the same. So we have 3,000 eggs. Look, we just got more. So now we have 30 or 3,124 eggs. Wow. It's a lot of eggs. Let's see where we can sell them. For our highest we always want to go we always want to sell our highest to our highest amount right we don't want to sell somewhere that uh well that gives us a lower amount i mean that makes sense right let's where our eggs at where is our eggs there so it looks like the local market is twenty two thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars and that is per pallet of eggs i believe or yeah i think that's per pallet so well, we're going to get a lot of money we are going to get a lot of money here okay let's tag the place find it on our map and it's in town all right let's go That is where our trailer is 55% full, it says. Okay, 3,124 fresh farm eggs that's going to market. All right, we're going to head in uh, to our market and then uh, I won't record this part, but um, I'll see you there. 
All right, guys, we are rolling into the market now. So let's sell our eggs and let's see how much we get. We remember last time we have to go to this first one here. Let's see how much we get. All right, there it goes. And it slowly just uh, goes away. Should have unlocked that first, but that's okay. $8,504 for 3,000 eggs. $8,504. That is pretty good for not having to do much at all other than make sure that our chickens have plenty of feed. I think it's well worth it. I really do. I think it is 100% worth the the effort. There's really not much effort there into it. You just have to make sure that the eggs are, are or, or the chickens are fed. That's it. There's no cleaning the pen. There's no... Um, making sure they have water. You don't have, you even have to put water in their, in their pen at all. You just have to feed them. That's it. I think that is well worth $8,000. And they produce the eggs rather quickly, honestly. Um, once you have their food full, they will start producing eggs. Not like the greenhouses where greenhouses, they take time. To produce which greenhouses will make a lot of money too but it takes time for them to produce um, vegetables so right now what for what we're doing I think eggs are our best source of income I mean eight eight that eighty five hundred dollars for three thousand eggs That's what, 35 cents an egg? Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. We're gonna head back to the farm as we wrap up this episode. So let's recap what we did today. We harvested our sorghum field for the first time, our first sorghum field harvest. We then, we did what? Oh, we sold our chicken eggs for $8,000, $8,500 to be exact. 3,000 eggs. It's a very good payoff. It's $8,000 in our pocket. And we didn't have to spend a dime other than buying chicken feed. Now we don't have to even buy chicken feed, guys. We have sorghum fields to produce our feed for us. Well worth it. Well worth it, guys. Next episode, we're going to harvest our wheat. I think our barley field. Then we're going to replant our other sorga, our sorghum field that we harvested today. We're going to fix it up. We're gonna plow it, we're gonna lime it, we're gonna roll it, we're gonna plant it to give us our maximum yield, guys. This is very exciting. Episode 11 in the books. I hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy the content that I provide, please, please, please on YouTube, hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell 
That way you know when we post our episodes. I post these every single day. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that follow button on YouTube as well. I do post content there as well. You guys have a great day and happy farming.